we have a severe mental health problem in Australia. And of course, the place where most people spend their time is in the workplace. The good news is that finally the government is putting attention in the important issue of workplace mental health. And it is giving it the same attention as physical health. We have always had to protect people's physical bodies. Now we also need to make sure that their minds, their psychological self, is also safe. This is not just a good idea or a way to be a good Samaritan. It is now the law. And the courts are getting very serious about this. The law is there, and it is there for a reason. And you have to comply with the law. The bad news is that your managers don't know how to do it. Why would they? They have gone to university to study management, not mental health. That's where we come in. We help you comply. We're the kings and queens of compliance. I'm an accredited mental health social worker. I'm an ex-president of the Australian Association of Social Workers for the New South Wales state. And uh, we have worked with major corporations. We've worked with Westpac. We continue to work with the Echo Group. We work for the Traders Club. We work for PwC and many other organizations. And this is what my company does. We go into workplaces and we train managers, supervisors, team leaders, executives, and CEOs how to talk, how to approach on a daily basis people so they can create powerfully mentally healthy environments for their people and get the productivity, the creativity, and the results they want from their people. People don't leave jobs, they leave bosses. Your managers can either make or break your workplace mental health program. Sometimes our focus is on those people that are healthy and those people that are really unwell, that can't function. But there's a gray area that most people miss. Those people that are dreading to come to work or they're not happy in their job, but they still come because they have to pay their mortgage. But in the meantime, this is costing you money. $578 per day that a person takes a sickie. Now, the interesting thing is, if a person has got depression, they will miss, on average, one day a week. Because that's going to cost you around $30,000 a year. I am Spanish. I'm, I'm from Spanish heritage, if you haven't noticed by my accent. Mañana in Spanish means tomorrow. We tend to leave things for mañana, for tomorrow. We have to look at this issue now. Because in this country, we're suffering from a mañana syndrome when it comes to workplace mental health. Awareness is a great idea. But action is even better. Not tomorrow. Not two days from now, but today because it's the right thing to do and it's the law.